What I eventually did was I almost sabotaged everything I was doing because of these little doubts, these little voices that were telling me things that are reasons why I couldn't or shouldn't do something. Just before I go into the video, please like and comment and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us get seen across the platform. So if you get some value from this video, please return the favor, like, comment, subscribe. Hey, it's Dean again. And another video I wanted to share with you really, really important things. In my last video, I talked about how your mindset and the way you think can affect the success of your business. There's a lot of talk about uh, your mind and how your mind works. And I don't want to get into that. But what is really, really clear is there's a lot of stuff we don't understand about our minds. And when we're trying to grow our business, when we're trying to expand our companies, or we're trying to start a business, or we're trying to change career, a lot of what happens and our success is not by what we do. It's about how we think. I know this uh, from personal experience because the quality of my thinking for many, many years was, well, poor. I doubted myself a lot. And maybe you're the same. Maybe you do this and don't even realize it. You'd come up with an idea or you think, I really want to do something. And then all the doubts of you're not good enough. You can't do this. Why do you think you should be able to do this? Uh, you're going to fail. All of that kind of stuff went through my mind. What I eventually did was I almost sabotaged everything I was doing because of these little doubts, these little voices. Uh, I know you're going to think I'm mental and, and kind of insane now. All these little voices that were telling me things that are reasons why I couldn't or shouldn't do something. Now, imagine you are building a business, trying to start a business, and you've got all these little voices. And they're chipping away at your idea, picking away at what you think and what you want to achieve, or basically undermining it. And this is a big problem for the whole of mankind, humankind, because these little voices end up where we cut, we cut back from what we want to do and do something half-hearted or we cut, don't do something at all, not because it's a bad idea, not because it's not a worthy thing to do, but because of a little voice that told us we weren't good enough or it might not work. Yet when you look throughout history at the people who have achieved stuff, amazing stuff, you know, like Nikolai Tesla and Thomas Edison and Elon Musk and Steve Jobs and Bill Gates, you look at all of these people, they've done things despite those little voices that tell them not to do something or it's a bad idea or they're not good enough. And we have to do the same. Whether you're going to be the next Elon Musk or whether you're just going to run your own business and provide for your family, we have to kill those voices. And sometimes what that means is doing things despite the voices. Now, it's really helpful uh, and I find this works for me, is that I actually program myself. So I tell myself things to counter sometimes those voices that, are, that come up and tell me why I shouldn't do something. So what I do is I mentally practice and I regularly practice almost encouraging myself that I can do some things to drown out the negative voices in my head. Now, if you don't do something like that. If you don't kind of reassure yourself and say, no, I can do this. I am up to the job. I can make this successful. If you don't do those things, eventually what happens is you don't do anything. You, those voices will grind you down till you don't do anything. You won't take a risk. You won't take a chance. You won't push something. You won't work hard enough because those voices will tell you it's all a waste of time. In our businesses, we have to guard against that voice directing us. If we're leading our business, if we're the ones in charge, if the book stops here and we're the ones being misled by the voices in our head, oh, that rhymes, that's pretty cool, then we are the ones who will lead everything else, the business, our employees, our families, our work life, our work choices, our everything will flow from those little voices that just tell us we're not good enough. 
So you've got to quit those. But what I've found is just like anything you're trying to quit, I'm trying to lose weight, get more healthy. As you try and do something, you have to replace it with something else. You can't just remove something. You have to replace. So you have to replace these negative thoughts with positive ones. And it might sound like positivity bullshit, but it's true. You have to tell yourself you can do this. You're good enough. You can make this happen. This can be successful for you. And you have to overcome those fears by talking to yourself and sometimes grabbing yourself by the scruff of the neck and shaking it into you that you need to stop listening to these voices. These voices tell you also, by the way, if you lead to them, these voices tell you that people think you're stupid. People, you'll look foolish. Yeah, people are going to laugh at you. People are going to make fun of you. All of this kind of stuff that, that these voices, if you don't kill them, if you don't drown them out, they will get louder and louder and louder. And if you want to be successful in business or in anything, you have to ignore those voices that tell you you're not good enough because they're lying, they're not true. And I believe that anybody can achieve things if they put their mind to it and focus and work hard. Thanks for watching this. Don't listen to those voices. Listen to my voice. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.